and welcome. I'm Lynn of Lynn X Stitches Creates. And I'm Ash from Stitch Rack. And welcome to our floss tube channel about kind of cross stitch and the project bags I make. It is Monday, September 5th. It's Labor Day and this is episode 53. So Ashley is still here for tonight and then they're heading back to Georgia. So we'll see. Maybe next week we'll Zoom. Maybe two weeks they'll be back. I don't know. I'm going to try to do like one to two weeks. I'm going to try to not disappear and um, scare people into thinking I no longer exist. Yep. So um, life has been pretty calm this week yeah. since, since our last video. Um, we went by really fast, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I went to the Ohio Renaissance Fair yesterday with my daughter and her husband and our grandson. We had a good time. Uh, we got season passes so we can go and come um, at the little guy's pace. So and he is walking all over the place. He enjoyed himself immensely, loved the shows, the joust. He got to pet one of the knight's horses and the horse was so good with him. It was, it was really cute. Um, the horse went right up to him and he just put the back of his hand on the horse's nose and the two of them just looked at each other for like a minute. It was really cute. So it was a good time. It was kind of hot, humid because another storm was coming in. We've had a lot of rain this weekend. Um, so that's kind of killed my exercise routine. Yeah. Which I've been trying to be better about getting my steps in since I walked all over Germany, southern Germany, <laughs> with our tour guide, Attila the tour guide. Um, yeah, so I've been trying to keep up with that pace, so get, get, reshape things nope. a little bit. So. I walked outside this morning, I went down to the stop sign, I said no. Well, that's better than I did. Get back inside. You've walked more consistently than me, though. I think that's the first time I walked since you came up here, so <laughs> I went back to sleep. <laughs> so, but other than that, it's it's been pretty quiet. I've been sewing today, working on the um, September bag of the month, um, or not bag of the month. Quarterly. Quarterly <laughs> mystery bag. That's what I do. I don't do bag of the month. Um, so... If you purchased the June quarterly mystery bag, I sent you an email last Thursday on the 1st. Um, 14 people have responded to that email. Um, I They have until the 10th, no, brain. They have until the 15th to respond. And then on Monday the 19th, any bag sets that have not been sold, um, I will post on Instagram the link and other people will have a chance to get in if, if you so desire. I never require you to make a commitment to every quarter. Um, you just get first dibs. So um, I, I don't want anyone to feel that they have to. Um, so this month's theme is Hispanic Heritage Month. Um, I did have to raise my prices. Um, so the set has gone up to $55. You get the project bag, which will hold an 11 by 11 Q-snap very comfortably. Um, it's 13 and a half by 11, 13 and a half by 15 and a half. Boy, my brain and my... Anyway, uh, uh, needle minder from Rebel Stitcher Designs. We always have a pattern and this time the pattern is by Ashley and it's very cute. I think you'll like it. Um, and then there's some other goodies. There's usually tea and a snack and things like that. So, and some. Which we hope you like the snacks. Mm -hmm. um, Ashley picked out. There, yeah. There's some of her favorite, her and her family. And things that my kids had. We lived in Mexico for about a year and a half and there were some things that my kids got and pinatas and, and from school things that, you know. So it will be an experience and I hope some of you floss tubers that have 
are, are getting the bag, I hope you will do some tasting on your channel because I really would like to watch that. <laughs> There's one in particular. Yes, definitely. <laughs> that if definitely. you don't grow up having that kind of snack, you, you may will be, be confused shocked. when you read the taste combination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I really want to know what people who have been growing up with these snacks think about it because for me it's kind of just like I was given it. Mm -hmm. um, I was given it as a child and I kind of it was an acquired taste mm -hmm. cause thinking back on it this particular snack I don't think I would have mm -mm. picked up you know unless no. someone gave it to me so it'd be interesting I, to see yeah I, so. I want to see <laughs> so that's all we'll say for right now a couple of weeks maybe the beginning of October um, maybe Maybe I'll taste one. I don't know. <laughs> but you've never had one of those? No. No. No, I never did. I I always looked at the package and I thought... Uh, it's not going to taste like your, like your last tea. No. I no. can tell you that much. <laughs> it's kind of paper. We'll, we'll, yeah, the beginning of October, after all the bag sets have gone out and been received, I'll, I'll show some of the candy and do a taste test. Anyway, so that's bags. Um, I've got some special orders I'm going to be working on. I've got trunk shows to get ready for. I'm finishing up uh, bags for the quilt store that's in Glendale, uh, Stitches Quilts, that I make bags for. So, yeah, so I'm busy during the day. But I have... I'm covering up those... Well, those are those are for the quilt store, so those those have been seen. Oh, that, that's actually a second. <laughs> that's the inside. Um, but I've been trying working on my balance and making time to stitch, which I've been very bad about um, over the summer. So um, before I say that, I'm looking at my shirt. If you want to go to StitchCon. In June of 2023, this Wednesday, September 7th, 12 noon Eastern time, is when the signups will go live. So if it's anything like last year, within two hours they had 950 people signed up and they only took 600. Um, so you will not be invoiced until the beginning of October, but to get on that wait list, you need to be like there. You need to be signed into your Google account and you need to be ready to go. Um, I I was on, <laughs> I think I got my confirmation at 12.03 that I made it on the wait list and I think, I think they gave me my number. I think I knew that I was in to go. So if you want to go, if you work, Make sure you take a break at that time so that you can sign in. I know fun. teachers, that's that's difficult, but... Um, it's worth it. Um, and then if you don't make it on that original wait list, because I know I had not even started stitching, so I knew nothing about stitch mm -hmm. content or people getting together to stitch. What is that? <laughs> um, so I think I actually signed up September, mm -hmm. October last year. Somewhere there. Um, and I was able to get a spot in just because... I no, should... Stitch Con, not Stitch Away. Never mind. Oh, they all start with Stitch, but... Yes. They do have... Stitch Away is yeah. in January. That It's just smaller. It's about 150 people. It's just one weekend. It's Martin Luther King weekend. It's true, that was in Right. <laughs> but, but you could have gone to Stitch Con had you been here because there were spots... It's, it's easier for local people to get put on a wait list and then fill in last minute spots, um, you know, because sometimes there was one lady that broke her leg at the airport and she never got to Cincinnati. So Ashley could have technically filled her spot. But I was you out know, of town. But you were out of town. So um, point is, if you don't get get in that first round mm -hmm. it's possible you still so just make sure you get yourself on the wait list before they close it up if you're thinking about it um, there's two weekends 
I have totally forgotten the dates, so you're going to have to look it up. Weekend A is like the 11th or the 12th of June, and Weekend B is the next weekend, which is Father's Day weekend. So, point being, Wednesday, September 7th, 12 noon Eastern Time, be logged in on Google so that you can then click the link when it goes live on the Keepsakes website. So that's that. Okay, stitching. We're 10 minutes in, stitching. Um, so this week, September 1st, what began AB Singo. That is a pop-up challenge from the magazine Monthly Challenge Group on Facebook. Uh, it's run by Carolyn Zook and Robin uh, Bird's Eye Stitcher. I believe that's her, her, her channel name. Um, and basically it's a bingo board, 25 boxes. It's all the letters of the alphabet minus one. This year it's minus H. So there's no H on our boards. And each day Carolyn calls a letter. So um, these are not in order because I don't remember the order. Well, I kind of do. So my first one, first was letter P. So I pulled out O mm -hmm. to a Peacock by Jan Hicks. I'll put in where it was and um, the challenge is to do 100 stitches or stitch for an hour and I don't like counting so I stitched for an hour and that's where I've gotten to. So it's really pretty and this is not the called for fabric because I could not get it. Uh, the called for fabric was graham cracker. This is an XGU Designs. Um, it is brown gray, 28 count brown gray from XGU with the called for Mrs. Seda silks. Then I believe V was next and I pulled out the river from Modern Folk Embroidery because it's got the alphabet on it. So this is where that was. And I was stitching on this at Keepsakes on Saturday, so I stitched more than an hour on it. I just kept going. So that's where I am on that. And this is a Bestitch Me fabric. It's After the Harvest. It was the September Fabric of the Month Club last year. And I'm using the uh, Forbidden Fiber Co. Uh, floss, the river, that came with it. This was, this pattern and the floss were from the Resolutions Box from the Black Needle Society last November and we all started, or most of us started it, uh, January 1st. And I used resolution. Yes. Ah. And then I did, and I think I did do these out of order. Uh, no, the river was for X. Token of Fall by Liz Matthews was for V because it's got a V on it. I have not gotten to the V yet. Um, this is where it was. And this is where it is now. So I filled in my letters and I got these three diamonds done. So. Now is this on the colorful fabric? No, this is, this is this is just a gray. Oh, wait, we didn't um, get fabric, right? Mm -mm. No. Uh, my needle minder is going crazy. So I think this I think. one was from Stitch Away. No, I got this. This was last August um, during 
Um, Liz Matthews was at Stitchaway. That was a different pattern. Yes. Liz Matthews was at Stitchaway. Um, and she gave us a pattern. This was one of her releases last August. And during um, Common Threaded Stitcher, I won um, three patterns from her. And she let me pick her new release. So that was one of hers. So that's why I have that one. And then last night was M and I have Gamer by Forbidden Fiber Co. And for M, Mario is on there. So this was a brand new start and this is where I got on it. And this is the called for fabric, which is 32 count commander is the colorway that Leanne dyed for this box and the called for threads and they're all her fibers. So a lot of fun. So that's my AB Singo. I did not uh, stitch it today. I will do that after we're done. And I'm also going to be doing Santa September where I'm working on my son-in-law's Christmas stocking, desperately trying to get the back stitch done before the end of this month because I've decided that no matter what happens, the end of this month, it's done. <laughs> I'm making it into a stocking. And if it's not back stitched, oh well, it's done. It's been in progress for seven years at this point, and I'm done. I'm done with it. So I will put in a picture of where Santa stocking is if right I now. If I ever get a stocking, I promise to help you with the back stitch. <laughs> Well, no, I will pick, you know, I have always done stockings as kits. And when I was younger and my eyes were better, it was fine. But this particular kit, for whatever reason, it is just so fiddly. I think it's that the blender, I, the blends. I mean, it, it's got where you're blending floss together Sometimes you're using one strand, sometimes you're using two, sometimes you're using three, sometimes you're using five, and... Popcorning. It's it's just like, I, I just want it to be done. So, having said all that, next week you will see some progress on that. Um, but anyway, so while I was also able to throw in a couple of other things besides my AB Sango, um, Friday afternoon I went over to keepsakes and sat outside with um, Jan who's the finish one of the finishers at keepsakes and our friend Lisa and I was working on Patrick O'Shanahan again because he's small not not terribly you know tiny tiny but I would like to get him done you know just just something to get out of done and out of the way um, this is where I was with him and this is where I am now. So I've almost got his face, his head done, and then I'll be moving on to the pot of gold. So he's getting there. Slowly but surely, he is getting there. And then Saturday, Ashley and I both went to keepsakes and stitched. And um, that's I worked on the river until lunchtime. And then after lunch, I pulled out Tea Time by Ink Circles. This was a present from Candy, the 614 stitcher, and she was there stitching with us on Saturday. She had come down from Columbus, and this is where I was on this, and that's where I am now. I added a lemon slice and the outline for the teapot, and I'm starting the design. So, this is such an enjoyable stitch. I, You would think that it would be too fiddly to do while I'm with other people, but I find that the each little motif, it's easy to focus. So I really enjoy that. So those are my whips for this week. I finally have a finish. So it only took me a year. I, it literally took me a year. So this right here is my little piggy. Um, yep. It's from Pedal Pusher, I believe. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the exact name of the design, but I know that they've got, I think, a couple of other I'll put animals. it in. I'll put it um, in. But he's finished. 
He's so show sweet again. gift. Show him again. Um, I did not use all the called for colors. So, for example, the mask was supposed to be black. I uh, did blue. We can show it so go. that you can see the sparkle. Um, the stars I did yellow. Yeah, you can see the white. sparkle in the mask. And then... I also did kind of like the sparkly um, pretend. So, okay, happy. It. I stopped working on it because I picked it up. I think two months after I started stitching, and then I think things seemed complicated, and now I got the hang of it. Um, oh, I wanted to show my back, because my back, I'm so She had a boo-boo, and she put it in timeout for a while. Look at the back. <laughs> it looks like the front. Um, <laughs> I want y'all to appreciate it, because I showed it to my significant other, and uh, he said, isn't that what it's supposed to look like? I was like, okay, whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for that, so. This one is another one that I pulled out because I was also bad over so the summer. So this one is this one Monk's is Hood. Monk's Hood by Nora Corbett, and I think. Oops, and I'll sorry. try to put a picture in of what the finished piece will be. Um. So last time I did it, I only had part of the face, and so now I've got the face, the hood, some of the hair. Um, Wow, I've got three needles in. Apparently I'm working on three piece, three parts of this at once. I did not remember that. And this is on Nevermore, 32 count by Be Stitch Me. So, let's turn to work on things again. Um, I have a couple of Mirabilia Nora Corbett's going on right now, so hopefully I'll finish one of those this year. And then you can use the ta hashtag Mirabilia style too. True. So hopefully those will get done this year. But that's kind of all that I've been working. I'm not as productive. <laughs> <laughs> that's because you work an actual 9 to 5 type job. And I set my own hours. 9, nine to so. 5 if I'm lucky. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do haul. Um, I got, and Ashley will get um, soon, my... And if you haven't gotten yours yet, don't look. Uh, come back. Whatever. Uh, from Rebel Stitcher, our Cottage Garden Thread of the Quarter. So they are fall colors. A pretty little sunflower sticker. And I'm going to take the string off. She always ties them together nice. So we've got Marigold. And this one, um, I'm going to show that one last because that's my favorite. Chinese Lantern. And we actually saw a lot of these um, in Germany. One, one church in particular, um, they grew a lot of them in their garden. Oh, wow. I believe this is Pan Tufel. Sounds like a dessert. It's kind of similar to the Marigold, but, but they are different shades. So, you can see this pantoufle is a little darker. And then my favorite, and hopefully I'm saying it right, a nuke. Look at that. Isn't that like the best fall ever? I just, ugh, the purple is just amazing in that variegation. So, I was talking to Colleen when I got them, and She's like, yeah, I ordered them so long ago, I've forgotten what I'm getting, so it's like Christmas. <laughs> so it's always a surprise when they come in for her, too. So those were my cottage garden threads for this quarter, and I love them. And then I got my first order. I got this from Keepsakes uh, from Expo, Needlework Expo, and it's Jan Hicks Creates... Um, the Palace of the Winds, and it's a study mm -hmm. in variegation, and I'm almost thinking, wouldn't that be cool? That would be really cool. I don't know. It's a big one. Um, I don't even know what the stitch count is on it. And this is but from the Expo? Yes. Wow. But it's, it's not a small... There's a lot of pages to this pattern. Do you think it'll pattern. be um, bigger than one of the, like, the Templar Prophecy from... 
I don't think it's quite a long dog. Long dogs, long dog stitchers. Um, let's see. I'm trying to get to the last page. There's all the information. 253 by 239. That's a big boy. So, for me, it's a 28 count stitcher. 18 by 17 will be the finished project. Doing it over two. If I do it 40 count, one over two, it would be 12.7 by 11.9. So the question is, how much do you like your eyes? Well, depending upon who dyed it, I have I have a 40 count that I actually do enjoy stitching on. Um, and then I could possibly use this if I did it on a 40 count. I don't know. I'm not going to start it anytime soon because I've got Ode to a Peacock, and that's that's not small either, so... I'll do that first. But that is my cross stitch haul. What about you? Well, that's good. So this is what I've got. Um, it's from The Heart and they did kind of like a monthly series. Mm -hmm. So we're down in September and I just picked this one up um, for my sibling. I'm gonna change probably the colors into blues, but I really like these. It's um, pretty. I like and it's pretty colors. with the purples that so. that September is. I, I love, I, know. I love this motif um, and so this motif. I'll probably stitch it twice. It's so pretty. Once with the cold four colors and the other one that I'm gonna gift my sibling. So. Yeah, I was bad. I didn't put my January Quaker on my, my um. Oh, you're still. AB on single that one? board. Mm -hmm. Yep, I pull that out every so often. I'll probably take that with me to the Acorns and Threads retreat um, in two weeks. Wow. Okay. So, um, I had wanted to share some haul last week that I got in Germany. Um, just a couple of little things. I got a whole lot more than this, but I just wanted to share. Um, I got some ornaments. That's the cathedral in Regensburg and then I bought this one in Oberammergau which is where the passion plays are and then Father Joe who organized the trip bought everyone on the tour a colored one so I have two of those and also Oberammergau is uh, besides being known for the passion plays is also known for their wood carving and so I got this just very simple cross that I'm gonna hang up and at Neuschwanstein I got this which is actually a pocket mirror there we are <laughs> and I also got um, this is a refrigerator magnet but I'm gonna pop that puppy off and once I get I have a new order of stronger magnets in, and once they come, I'm going to put stronger magnets and use it as a needle minder. So just a couple of cute things that I brought back from Germany for me. I've um, already eaten through what she brought back for us. Well, okay, we have eaten through what she brought back for us. Well, I got you a bag, too. So you okay, have, I, you did, I did bag. not eat through my bag. Um, I'll probably show that next time if I'm up. It's downstairs. That's okay. So, Okay. Um, Black Needle Society challenge deck, and this week's pull, stitch on a piece whose pattern is no longer in print. So, I would have to pull out my oldest whip for that one. Is it the... The dragon That was the... not done? Oh, heck no. The dragon in the castle and the... No, 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 no. That that won't be done. <laughs> I'm hoping it's done in my lifetime, but, you know, I've been working on it for 34 years, you know, 33 years. I don't know. How big is that? It's pretty big. I think you missed it when I showed it. Yeah, you I've missed it. I've heard the story I, about I it. I did, I did the whip parade, and you weren't with me when I did it. Yeah. Anyway. 
Um, but speaking of Black Needle Society, a couple of things. They are taking pre-orders. If you liked, um, let's see, I have my, if you liked the stitching planner that they came out with this year, it had all kinds of, um, challenges and pages to write things and your calendar pages, etc. Um, if you like that, they have made it new and improved and there is a flip through on their Instagram page and their Facebook page, the Facebook group page. Um, they're taking pre-orders right now. It is $36. You can go on theblackneedlesociety.com to pre-order it. Um, I'm not sure if my rep code LIN5 will work for that, but you can try. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, but speaking of rep codes, they are beginning their search for their 2023 Black Needle Society reps. Um, I have loved being a rep for them over this last nine months. Uh, it's great getting the boxes. It's, you know, I get first dibs on signing up for special events and things like that. Um, but, you know, beyond that, I love their boxes and their products. I can't say that there's anything that I've really hated that I've got. A um, couple of things I have passed on because I, you know, you get to a point where you know what you're gonna do and sometimes it doesn't call to you, so that's fine. But I can't say that I've hated anything. Um, and once I'm not a rep any longer, um, I will still continue to buy from them and talk about them and how wonderful they are. Saying that, I am going to put in a video um, to see if maybe I'll get picked again. Who knows? Um, so. If you're interested in being a rep for the Black Needle Society, uh, go to their Instagram page. They have all the details. If you are a floss tuber and you have at least 750 subscribers, you can um, do a video, and that's what I will be putting up a video this year. Because um, this last year I did not have enough Floss tube subscribers in this year I do so thank you to everyone and I didn't say that at the beginning I knew I left something out thank you if you are a subscriber to our channel we appreciate you coming back each time um, if you're new if you just happen to stumble upon us thank you for coming by we hope that you'll like and subscribe um, you know hit the bell do all the things and we'll see you again next time we film um, but anyway, so if you are a floss tuber, you have to have at least 750 uh, subscribers. If you want to do it as an Instagram influencer, you have to have over a thousand followers on Instagram. Um, and so that's how you will decide um, how you're going to do your rep search. So if you're if you're going to submit on Instagram. You'll create a post with the rep search logo and some of I think six pictures that you consider your best pictures um, so they can see you know how you stage things when you're um, uh, posting on Instagram if you're a floss tuber you'll do a separate video and there's a whole list of questions that they have for you to answer in a video so if you watch this tonight, it's Monday. Last Monday, it took nine hours to get up. So, or last Tuesday, um, it was crazy long. I set it to go into YouTube and it didn't get on YouTube until like eight o'clock the next morning, it was crazy. So depending upon how YouTube and when you see this, <laughs> I may have another video up with my, um, rep search su submission. So um, there's all the information about in the post, their post, about what you need to do and the perks that you get from being a rep. Um, so 
I highly recommend it. It's a great gig. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed it. And like I said, I hope I get to continue. Um, and if I don't, I love them anyway. And <laughs> I will still be participating in black needle things and you will see them still on my channel. So that's that. Uh, let's see. And I think that may be it for tonight. So I'm going to try again. I got my phone to talk to my iPad. So hopefully I can actually get the Germany video. Um, some of the places that I enjoyed visiting in Germany at the end of this. Um, so if you'd like to see that, hang on. If not, we will see you next Monday. Have a great week. Happy stitching.